Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing Transformers Cyberverse Slipstream. But before we look at Slipstream herself, let's look at that package and get some nice artwork of Slipstream's jet mode, which is really nice. I dig it. And it says Transformers Cyberverse Slipstream, ages 6 plus, Decepticon Insignia, Transformers, and artwork of slipstream in a robot mode you're probably wondering why did i get a slipstream of all characters well i remember slipstream from transformers animated and this transformers cyberverse but i've never had an accurate anime animated slipstream so this is why i got her get some nice artwork more of slipstream and a product shot of her in her jet mode and robot mode, which is really nice with these Cyberverse figures. This figure is brand new, of course, but not new to a lot of people, so this is a little bit of a throwback to a slightly new item, huh? <laughs> it shows all the other figures in the Ultra Class line, like Optimus and Shockwave. And that's all there is to say. For the packaging, let's look at that jet mode and how well it's sculpted and painted. Really nice sculpting, really nice paint on the nose cone. I dig this Ultra Class figure. And this is my very first Ultra Class figure. And it looks incredible and nice. Sure, this gimmick is a pain in the neck, but it's part of the toy's playability. But I am going to show it off the gimmick. You just do this. And you can give her like some sort of weird propeller in her jet mode if you want to. Me, I'm probably just not going to use that at all. But that's all there is to say for the jet mode. It slides very nicely for a jet mode. But now it's time for transformation. Time to transform Slipstream into robot mode. Fold up the nose cone, connect it there. Fold these down, disconnect the legs. Like so, it can be a little bit fussy with this copy and I have one where the foot is loose so I have to be careful when removing the legs. And her foot just popped loose. <laughs> it's a pain in the neck with this figure. It's the only nitpick I have. That the figure could have been much better if they figured out a way to keep the foot on. And I just fixed the foot, which is good. <laughs> now we're going to rotate this section around to form the robot mode body, which is on a hinge. You rotate it into the correct position... Click it in, fold up the feet, and there you have Slipstream in her robot mode. And this is an excellent robot mode. For an ultra class figure, this is pretty cool robot mode, if I have to say so myself. But now we're going to get on to looking at the figure's details. Nice good red eye sculpting and they even gave her purple lips like she has purple lipstick on oh that's nice for my second female Decepticon oh yeah this is real nice arms go out that far they don't go back at all but you can totally put them out like this if you want to legs can kick back that far there is no Bend at the knee, which is a real letdown, but you can kick out frontly and be like kicking Autobot in the shins. But that's all there is to say for the robot mode. And you get a nice detailed Decepticon insignia. I love 
this ultra class figure so very much for my very first. But now for comparison with some other random seekers. Here she is next to Paula Cybertron Thundercracker. Generation Ramjet. Robots in Disguise, Skywarp, and finally, Animated Starscream, which is a good comparison for this review. Would I recommend this figure if you're a Transformers fan and you've never had a Slipstream in your Transformers collection at all? Yes. Sure, she doesn't have a ball-jointed head or bendable knees, but this is a Cyberverse Ultra class, so they had to skip some details. It's a shame, really. But otherwise, I just really like this figure. It's pretty cool. For all the paint detail, and at least the posability in the arms ain't half bad. And that's all there is to say for this review. You're probably wondering, where did I get this figure? I got this figure from Amazon for about 10 bucks. Is an Ultra Class Slipstream worth adding to a Cyberverse collection if you're a kid and you love Transformers Cyberverse? Yes, she is worth it if you're a Transformers Cyberverse fan, which I'm becoming quite a bit. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.